All right, so I am back, and today I wanted to do a quick video, a couple, a couple topics I wanted to touch on, just real quick. Um, so uh, a few days ago, uh, for me. <laughs> It'll be like a week or so for you. Um, I had posted a quick update where I was just talking about how um, I just don't have much to review at the moment, so v videos might be a little bit lacking. Um, and I got some pretty good comments, so I want to go through some of those. Um, uh, Max, Sa Max Shade 7. Um... One of these in particular uh, is the main reason why I wanted to do this, um, but we'll get to it. Um, so, but anyway, Max Sage Seven Seven says, "Do more rants. You have a great perspective on collecting and pop, pop culture. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, you know, as of right now, I just don't have anything to rant on that I haven't already. It's it's one of those. It's like." If there's not much going on in the Transformers world when it comes to collecting, there's not a lot to rant about. And I don't want to just keep ragging on Star Wars and uh, Marvel because <laughs> it's just like that's probably going to get old real quick. Um, I mean, even like, you know, you watch my Obi Wan videos that are, I think, have already started coming out by the time this is up, or the Doctor Strange video that I know has been out. Um, it's, it's, it's all the same rants I've been having about, uh, the state of Disney and the Disney Plus shows. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I have no intention of not doing rants. It's just, it's just a matter of when I come up with a, a good topic that I think, uh, deserves a rant and, <laughs> and hopefully nobody else puts out a very similar, better done video, which is a little problem I came up with um, a couple months back where I had a really good rant video, I thought, and then Skullface had actually posted a very similar video the day before mine was going to go up, and his had, like, charts and details, and it was, like, it was so much better done, and I was like, and because of the way it was scheduled, it, it just kind of would seem like I was copying him, but it was just a coincidence. But I was like, eh, I guess I'm not going to post this. All right. Um, Aaron MP8 says, bring back Transformers Repair, Repair Bay. You are a genius at that kind of content. Uh, I would also like to see videos of you customizing toys. Uh, and he's also asking me to review Hasbro's Draculus, the repaint ritual of Titans Return Mind Wipe. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about the, the Mind Wipe. Um, the repair bays, um, the biggest problem I have with the repair bays is coming up with something to repair. Um, you know, if I've got something to show off or some skill I've got, to show off, I will. Um, I don't get me wrong. Don't get me started. If it's something I'm passionate about, I'm gonna show you guys. The problem I'm I have with that is just I haven't had much to really repair um, outside of just tightening a few screws here and there. Which, I mean, uh, let's face it, that would be a really boring video. Like, oh, you know, like pretty much any fans' toys figure I've gotten, and it's like, oh, get them out of the box. Get the screwdriver, eat, eat, a couple twi twist turns, and we're good to go. Um, but, um, you know, the one I wanted to do was the the knees on MP Starscream and them. But the problem with the video, and I tried filming it three separate times. Um, now I've got them all tight, and now I don't want to mess with them anymore. But the biggest problem was is because it's such, such detail work with the little springs. Um, I kept losing the springs during the video, and it was just this like you know where the video where the spring go, and I'm like stumbling around, and then I. I trying to find a different spring to put in there in its place because I couldn't find it and then I did find it. It was just a disaster. Um, so, I mean, just real quick, if you guys ever do want to tighten his knees, what you got to do first is take this one off. The problem is once this is out, sometimes it strips, so you got to be very careful. 
once you get that off, then you can take this, these plates here off, and then it kind of comes undone, and there's lots of springs, so you got to be careful. And then once it's out, though, there's just this one little screw in the kneecap that you just tighten. And his knees are super tight now. So um, it, it's one of those that's like, I wish I could have shown that off, but it just it did not play out very well for me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was, it was, it was crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, see and funny John says, yes, show, uh, show and, mo and movie reviews. Come on, watch Moon Knight animated, an animated, animatedly done. There are two versions. I don't, I don't think I, there was an actual Moon Knight animation. I know he was in some of the, like, the Spider-Mans and stuff like that, but I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I really want to watch that one. Um, let's see, Max Say Shade 7 says, doing the math, you spent 1k on figures. Wow. I believe he was referring to just the three fans toys, the uh, Galvatron, Cyclonus, which I spent about 600 on those guys, and Thomas, which was about 400. So, yeah. Uh, I was I, first when I when, he, when I read that comment a while back, I was just like looking at my collection and I'm like, shit, that's like half a shelf. <laughs> it's like it's one, <laughs> it's like one little corner of a shelf. I'm like a lot more than a thousand dollars here. I, I, me and Alex, my girlfriend, we got in a um, kind of a competition on like who spends more money, uh, her with her camera equipment, which that's super expensive. Uh, or me with my Transformer collection, and I had her beat halfway through the Transformers, and I'm like, and that's not including the Warhammer stuff. Um, just because, I mean, I have Warhammer galore. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even want to know how much I've spent on, on that collection. It's... Um, I, I easily have spent more on Warhammer than Transformers uh, in the end. Um, I don't own more, like, currently, because it's like... Which we're going to get into in a second here, but... Um, and then Tim Lemmings says... And this is the main reason why I wanted to do this video, is because uh, he, he had a really good idea. Uh, first, he says, please do the Thomas review. Uh, or please do the review of Thomas. Okay, I'll do the review of Thomas. I, I'm not going to transform him, but I will do the review. I just, one person says do it, and I'm, I'm going to do it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll review him. I don't have any problem with it. I just, like I, like I said, um, I don't, and I've said this many times, and I'll just continue saying it. I'll probably say it at the beginning of the Thomas review as well. Um, if I can't get re placement parts and I've spent a lot of money on a figure I'm not going to risk breaking something for content I I don't make money on this channel whatsoever not one penny anymore um, I did um, I did for a while there um, but then when I retired uh, a few years back I turned off the monetization because I was like you know what you know I let let the everyone watch it for free and then since then it's just like it's it was never really worth the hassle um at average i was making 30 dollars a month off of this <laughs> so it's like it wasn't much best best payday i ever had was the mp beast wars megatron um which is kind of hidden in the shelf but um he was my best payday uh i made enough off of that video to pay for the figure which was awesome um but that's it i mean i i made i think 50 bucks off of my Predaking war and i spent 1500 dollars on that review <laughs> you know it's like stuff like that it's just like <sighs> but anyway um but you know what I mean to say is just if I'm not making money on the videos, I'm not risking the breakage of a figure. Now, if I were to, you know, buy a Takara Starscream, for example, and if he were to break on me and I just call up, um, you know, whatever retailer I ordered from it, I think it was Chosen Prime, and been like, hey, here's what's happened. Um, can you send me replacement parts or can I return it? And it's taken care of so it's like it doesn't matter how much i spent on it i i know um most 
retailers um, will give you h hardly any hassle um, to getting things fixed or, or replacement parts sent out to you. Um, most of them are pretty quick about it and they're just like, oh, we're sorry this happened to you, here you go. We're paying, we're even paying for shipment. Um, I've had, I had one, I think, I, I've had a lot of bad experience with TF Source. We won't go into that here, but like BBTS, I, I think the worst experience I had with that was, um, I think it was a TFC Ironhide and the thing just kind of crumbled on me and they said, yes, we'll take it back, but... Uh, because I, I, I didn't ask for a replacement. I'm just like, just take this thing back and let me get a refund. Um, and they're like, we'll take it back, uh, but you're going to have to pay for shipping. Which I was like, I got the review out of it. Uh, it broke on camera like six times. And I was just like, fair enough. <laughs> so, um, so that was, you know, that was, you know, I think the biggest hiccup I think I've had. Uh, Chosen Prime, it took me a couple months to get the replacement part for um Tigertron but you know hey whatever you yeah, know they they had to contact the manufacturer and manufacturer had to go through the process and send it to them so all right <sighs> and then the other thing he says and this is why I wanted to do this video <laughs> Um, how about do how about doing how do they hold up for figures and transformers you've owned for a year or so? Um, I've almost never come across any content like that and could be very interesting. Uh, like how like how how do the joints hold up? Paint fading? Uh, do you still appreciate them and such? So uh, this could be helpful for the people who are thinking about paying the late tax, like you on Thomas, or for when there are repaints or just um or just interesting overall um plus you already own own them so no extra cost involved um so uh, so that's that's the main reason why i wanted to do this video is because that is a great idea um and i'm gonna start doing some things similar to that not quite what he was saying because um the biggest problem i have is I buy, sell, and trade a lot. That's why, you know, I have a ton of Warhammer. I have thousands of dollars of Warhammer. But I've easily spent tens of thousands of dollars on Warhammer. Um, but I'll buy something, put it together, paint it, you know, whatever, sell it. Um, Transformers. Uh, most of you, especially longtime viewers, have seen it where I will go with a chug collection and after a while i'll get some mp stuff and then i'll start an mp collection and i'll sell off the chug and then something will happen to mp and i'll be disinterested and i will sell all the mp to go chug collection and i go back and forth back and forth so i can't there's not really many figures that i own on the shelf that are over a year old um that have had that long um for for example, like the Make Toys Reflector. This is actually a really good one because he's going to be one of the ones on the, the videos. Um, I got this, you know, this is a old, much older figure. Um, I've done, my review on it was years and years when it first came out. Um, and the thing about this is just that I purchased this particular copy... I think October last year. Um, not I, I purchased it during TFCon, but not at TFCon. Um, and yeah, so it's just one of those like I haven't owned this for a year. It's a really old set, um, but but it brings up a good uh, idea, you know, kind of merging my idea with his idea is to do a how are they holding up on figures like this where yes i may not have owned this for very long but how does it work in today's mp collection um how you know does it hold up does the aesthetics work with a modern collection are you looking for you know, is this figure going to fit 
with what you're collecting now or is it just a standard piece you know i think that's a good topic um not to mention how they're holding up because build wise um some of these companies have come a long way um they used to have crap uh, for quality control and they've moved into much better materials. I don't know why my color keeps fading in and out. So I, I apologize. <laughs> I have that problem every now and then. I think it's the lighting in the whole room that's just messing everything up. But, um, but like, is the make toys reflector worth purchasing today? Or is there a better option? Or with uh, like everything in this world, uh, should you wait and see if something else comes along? You know, what, you know, that is, would, is a good topic, you know, and to continue on that, um, you know, the, and I've got a ton of figures that we can talk about. Um, how well have they held up, not necessarily just in joint wise, because like I said, I some of these figures I purchased not that long ago, um, but and what we see view quality control wise. Here's a great example of this. Um, many years ago, when they first started putting figures out, um, these all the way to the Fans Choice really Scoria, um, who was riddled with QC issues. Um, joints being loose, fingers being broken um you, you know he had halls paint issues um there was all sorts of issues with this figure um to the point that it was clear that by the time they were done with their dinobots fans toys weren't as proud of him as they once were so that's why they made cesium and they put it under the perfect fusion line um so it's like from the beginning of their line to the end of the line, they've actually come up with, uh, or they've decided that um, he's no longer a figure to be proud of. Um, so you know, you know, that's a good, good place to start. You know, like how have some of these older figures aged, not just in um, a timing frame, but aesthetic and QC like what did we overlook at one point in QC problems that today we wouldn't you know and then I, I and then the way to end the, the these kind of pseudo reviews is I'll give them a current rating like what I would rate a figure today as opposed to what I may have given him when they first came out uh, because I believe Scoria um remember if I did a review on him when he first came out or not. That was so long ago. Probably did. But I probably gave him a 9 or a 10. But Scoria, for example, um, you know, just with some of the QC problems, I probably would only give him maybe a 5 or 6 now. You know, and, and that's just, you know, quick thinking about it. You know, not actually sitting down and messing with the figure and seeing like, oh man, you know, this guy's really limited in articulation or something or whatever. Or, or the Make Toys Reflector, like, Man, is there any paint on this figure at all? <laughs> um, I mean, there's like dabbles of paint on him. Whereas now it's like if if the figure's not almost fully painted, we're sitting there like, mm, oh no, you know. And then there's also the older aesthetics versus the newer aesthetics, where everything's kind of going more tune aesthetic. Uh, you know, is that something? You know, you know when we talk about that so i don't know um so that's that's uh so that's going to be a new series um of videos um i've got a ton of, of older figures that we can kind of look at um and then we'll just kind of use that as filler until there's more figures to actually review because they're, i've got nothing i actually got some two two new figures they're not new they're actually pretty old um but they're new to me because I just purchased them. But they're older figures. And I, I want to actually... I probably will do them first. And I'll, I'll save it as a surprise. Um, but it's just like there's a lot to say with these figures. Uh, at, le at least one of them. There's a lot to say about him. And I think, I think it'll be surprising uh, for a lot of people. 
um, which will actually tie into a rant of the week I'm starting to work on, but I gotta get some more stuff together. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it's like, uh, let's see, I've got like the old um, DX9 Blitzwing or Unique Toys Blitzwing, I can't remember what it was. I've got the KFC uh, Tank or Octane, whatever his name is, I, can't, I always forget. I got the KFC Terracons, Horcons, Horcons. Uh, you know, we could look at them. We just looked at the reissue Insecticons, so we won't really bother with them. But um, Make Toys Reflector, MP Ramjet, um, a lot of the MP Beast War stuff, um, some of the older MP cars, um, Make Toys Headmasters. Um, some of the fans' choice Dinobots. We looked at two of them recently, so not all of them, but, but yeah. Um, it'd be Rodimus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's a number of figures in you know that will keep us going for a little while, and you know, and then anytime I go back and I purchase something older, and you know maybe it's something we've looked at before, but we can take a look and see how it's holding up today. So. Um, so yeah, um, and then if anybody has any uh, repair bay ideas, um, like of a figure that I own that like needs that you know people need help with repairing, you know, sh let me know and I can take a look. Um, and if it's if it's something that this is the problem is is like the fixing the Starscream knees, like I was saying before, it's like it was a piece of cake, but doing it on film is the hard part. Uh, it's just because the springs are going everywhere and it's like, oh my god. And then you're just hearing me cuss and scream. It's just, that's not fun. So, so yeah, I guess that's uh, all I got for today. So, so yeah, that's, that's my ideas. Um, and, and, you know, like on, like on that video, if you guys have some other ideas of things you want me to do, feel free to throw them out there because, you know, maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's a bad idea. So far, none of these were really bad ideas. I just, you know, you know, I, I mean, I don't know about the animated Moon Knights. I, I just, I, I don't have time to watch newer cartoons. But, um, but you know, it's just like, um, you know, more movie reviews and show reviews. Cool. You know, I was debating on doing Star Trek reviews, um, but I haven't made up my mind on that one yet, just because there's so much fucking content. So much content. Uh, and I can't remember if I did any already. But anyway, I guess that's all I got for now.